Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I just wanted to show you some of the more eco-friendly switches that I've recently made. I'm trying to be a more conscious consumer, um, not just buying stuff because I want it but because I genuinely need it and also making more environmentally friendly swaps for different products and things that I use um, and it's actually been so much easier than I thought it would be. Uh, this year I've decided I want to try and be a lot more environmentally conscious and just kind of bringing that into my day-to-day -day life a lot more. So what I've decided I'm going to try and do this year is every month basically try and make one or two extra changes so kind of just building upon the changes that I've already made and hopefully by the end of the year I will have made significant changes and will be a much more conscious consumer. I think it can be a lot easier to do it that way rather than trying to change absolutely everything at once and getting overwhelmed. It's just a bit easier to just like change bits at a time and slowly but surely become a more conscious shopper. So that's kind of my aim for this year. I started making a couple of changes probably like three or four months ago. It started with something simple and now I'm just trying to add on to that all the time. So I wanted to share with you the changes that I have made and what have worked for me. And yeah, bring you on this journey of eco-friendliness and conscious, conscious buying. I was about to say conscious and coupling. I'm not Gwyneth, so... Let's get into it. The first thing I decided to swap, and I don't know where exactly this came from, like I don't remember where I heard about it or anything like that, but basically I swapped out my shampoo, my regular shampoo for shampoo bars. So they come in these little tins. So I've obviously used a lot of Lush. I have two. So this is the one I started with, it's the blue one, and it's um, good for oily hair. So I basically, I noticed that my shampoo was running out and I was like, oh, I don't, I really don't remember where the shampoo bars came thing, thing came from. But I went into Lush and I was like, hi, I want to try out shampoo bars. Do you have any for greasy hair? And she recommended this one. So it's kind of like a seaweedy something something I don't know it's the blue one um, and I started using that and the very first wash I was when I got out of the shower I was like whoa my hair feels clean like really like squeaky clean and I was like okay that's good so I have this one and that one I have got I probably got this initially I want to say August probably and it's January now and I use it all the time because I'm washing my hair all the time and it's brilliant. My cousin also got me this one for uh, Christmas and um, because she's like me she suffers from that whole irritated scalp with psoriasis thing which is obviously so much fun and um, smells really good but this one is good for if you suffer from like irritated scalp or anything like that so I kind of go between the two of those. Super easy to use you basically just take the bar out of the thing, rub it into your hair, it lathers really quickly, it rinses out really easily, Bob's your uncle, there you go, clean hair. So that was kind of the first change that I made. And then I've basically just become obsessed with Lush since then. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the other things that I've got. I haven't uh, got a conditioner bar yet. And the reason being is that I'm really slow to use conditioner. I only use a tiny bit on my ends, so I still have some left in my bottle. If you are gonna be making changes, the first thing I'll say is don't just throw out everything you already have to get new stuff. You should use what you have and then make a change to something else. There's no point just creating more waste by throwing something out even when there's stuff left. So I'm still working through my conditioner bottle. Uh, once that's gone, I will be trying out a conditioning bar or something similar from Lush. But let me show you what else I've got. I've shown you this in a previous video. It was the um, Charity Pot Hand and Body Lotion, but they also have it in a bar, which is obviously better because it's zero, zero waste, even though you can reuse these pots and all that kind of stuff. Um, this yeah, so it's made it's made from 100% recycled plastic, but if you want to reduce again and have zero waste, it comes in a bar. So it's the exact same moisturizer, just in a bar form, and it's really, really easy to use, and it smells divine. You basically just like warm it up and rub it on, and then you're moisturized. It's super easy. Um, so these are, th these are the exact same scent and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what scent it is. It just smells clean. So that's 
all you want really. So that's my moisturizer and I'm still kind of using this one at the same time. I also got, my physiotherapist said that all my muscles in my legs are overly tense and I need to massage them. So they have these little massage bars that look kind of like Lego and basically you can massage while washing. So that's my new bar of soap that I got. And then I also got a deodorant bar because I'm not a big fan of spray on deodorant anyway because I find the residue spray stuff goes absolutely everywhere and then I'm also not a fan of the stick because I feel like you actually don't get that much deodorant in it and then it's just a plastic tube. So I got this instead. It's their deodorant bar basically. It smells so nice. So basically you just rub that in and you're good to go. It's easy peasy and um, they do have different types I should say that for all of these things like they have there's different shampoos for all different types of hair uh, there's different deodorants so you can actually get it in powder form you can get it in kind of a chalky bar or you can get it in a bar that's this which is more like waxy and like a soap their moisturizers come in millions of different scents and all that kind of stuff so like for me I have sensitive skin I haven't had a reaction to anything that I've used at all and um, the products are really gentle. It's all natural so the chances of you having a reaction are slimmer I would imagine because it's not chemicals. It's you know natural ingredients. So this is some really easy beauty changes that I made. Everything's from Lush to so the moisturizer, shampoo bars, the deodorant, the massage bar. I'm looking down here because they're on the floor beside me but they're really really easy changes. They come in either reusable kind of waxed paper like this or they come in the tins which are obviously reusable and you just go into the shop with your tin and you get your new bar and it's just a great way to reduce your footprint and get closer to zero waste when it comes to your regular beauty products. Another beauty change that I have made is that I have got through all my cotton wool and instead I am using these. They're my little cotton wool glass jar thing. Basically they are reusable cotton pads. They're like a fabric and um, they feel the same as cotton wool and um, they're really soft, like really soft. As far as I can remember from when I bought them on Amazon, they are made from bamboo or something. I could be totally wrong there. I will leave the link in the description below. But instead of using cotton wool, I am using these uh, cotton pads instead. And basically what happens is you clean your face with them. It takes everything off as normal. They're extremely effective. And it comes in this little wash bag. So when you're done, you can pop them into the wash bag and wash them. So I'm just using my normal makeup remover products that I have been using this whole time, the Glossier. A, a milky jelly cleanser um, but this has been working really really well so far so I just basically once I finish with my cotton wool I just refilled it with these instead so I will link down below where I got these on Amazon obviously for any of the things that I'm talking about today if you can get them locally rather than ordering them on Amazon and obviously not incurring you know the environmental costs of ordering that and the packaging and da 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 do get it locally but I will link to everything um on Amazon that I bought on Amazon or Lush or wherever um where possible just in case you can't get them locally okay now the next two are really obvious ones that I feel like everyone has gotten on board with in the last while. I'm still going to talk about them anyway, just in case you haven't. Obviously, um, coffee cups and water bottles are a huge contributor to waste and are filling our oceans. And it's just, I think anybody who watched like that Dave and Attenborough thing is just like, <laughs> after seeing it. So obviously getting something like a reusable water bottle. This one has a nice convenient little straw as well and a little holder it makes a lot of sense there's so many refill places in the airport all that kind of stuff so it there's no excuse really i got this one at work it's branded so that's why i'm covering it really weird but you can get also steel ones if you don't want to have a plastic one whichever works for you i also have a keep cup but that is downstairs being washed because i left coffee in it so it's a bit stained but that is obviously like the glass uh reusable cup with like the rubber uh, I have the rubber kind of handle thing not handle rubber grip on it um and that has been brilliant and great to use for coffees however I did recently forget it and I was in Starbucks don't judge me and I ended up getting these so this is actually a reusable 
cup from Starbucks. It's one euro fifty in Ireland anyway, and um, it's totally reusable and actually recyclable as well. So my keep cup is probably only about this size, and if you're like me, you kind of like having a vat of coffee. So this actually fits a grand day size coffee. So if you're looking for something a little bit bigger, this is a good option as well, and it's quite cheap. It's only a euro fifty, um, but otherwise I generally do always have my keep cup with me. I was just stuck that day. I decided to just get this instead, and yeah. It's worked out great so far, actually. I've kind of just, because it's so light, I keep it thrown in my bag anyway, even when I do have my keep cup, in case I want a really, really big cup of coffee, so. Sticking with foods and drinks and all that kind of stuff, when I ordered my cotton wool pads, I actually got another thing as well. I try to, like, prep meals in advance and put them in the freezer and I was using uh, lunch boxes for some and then plastic bags for other things and obviously I want to cut down on my use of plastic bags so I got this little set and it's really really good. This comes in the set, I'm going to take you through everything now but the main thing that I wanted to get out of this was these. These are reusable silicone ziplock bags. Hold on, what way does this? Oh yeah, this way. Urgh. They're still a bit stiff because I haven't used them yet. Um, but basically you remove this thing at the top and open it out. Ugh. And it holds four cups, a thousand milliliters or 30 fluid ounces. You can see that on the side. And it also stands up. So you can stand up all your stuff in the fridge. That was really like presenting it there. They are freezer proof, fridge proof, dishwasher proof, microwave proof, all that kind of stuff. They came in four different colors in my set. So when I'm meal prepping now, I generally try and make like five meals at a time. So this is great because I can have one that day and then four in the freezer. But this set also came with two other things. So the second thing, which I think is really good, are these toppers so i used to use a lot of like tin foil or cling film i think in the states you call them alum aluminium uh, aluminium aluminium foil and saran wrap i don't know i think you do to like cover my foods if i wasn't using things or um you know if i made a big pot of something and i wanted to cover it in the fridge i would use tin foil or cling film and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these in different sizes now to cover up. So they're really, really stretchy material. And they've got these little tabs to help you pull them off. Uh, different like lids and jars and stuff. This one would fit on a jar or you know if you cut up like an avocado or something, you can actually pull that over the top of the avocado and cover it. The big one, they kind of stick together. The big one is huge. Like you could definitely cover like a casserole pot or something with this and they're just really stretchy and really cool so I haven't as I said like I got these basically the day after I meal prepped so I already had stuff in plastic bags um but I will be using these from now on because it's just a much better more reusable and sustainable way of covering your food and they all just stack together real small and you can throw them in a drawer in your kitchen and it's just easy peasy but there was another thing that came with this set this set is great and it came with these and these are uh, at first I was like why did they give me makeup brush clean cleaners in this you know the way you can put your brush in and like clean it um but they're not they're silicone sponges for um washing your dishes with so rather than using you know sponges that you have to throw out and replace all the time these silicone ones are kind of like rubbery with these little sponges spike things lord knows i will not be able to get this to focus but kind of little spikes to help you clean off dirt and it comes with two of them so i thought that was really good that was a really good set um so i will be ASMR. i will be cooking up a storm cleaning all my stuff meal prepping covering things up it's gonna be great got it all Okay, what else did I want to talk to you about? The second last thing I want to talk to you about, and this is something I was super conscious of, especially around Christmas. Obviously, we're all buying each other presents at Christmas, and there's lots of gifting and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I actually bought a lot of uh, canvas bags around with me so that I didn't have to get bags when I was in the shops. Canvas bags are a really great alternative to shopping bags. Like this one I got when I purchased a in Glossier. This one I got in work. And they're really great to just have in your bag and to use if you're going food shopping or clothes shopping or returning stuff or whatever it may be because they fold up really, really small. Let me show you. Oh. 
they fill up really small you can throw them in your bag i try to have one of these in like each of the main bags that i use a lot so like my work backpack my crossbody bag and my more casual backpack i try to have one of these in them all the time because you never know when you might want to pop into the shops and bring some stuff home or whatever it is so these are a really great reusable um alternative to using bags in shops or you know uh, any plastic bags like i feel like ireland has had the plastic bag um levy thing for so long that i actually don't even remember the last time I got a plastic bag which is brilliant but just this is even better again than you know getting the paper bags or anything in shops it's just more reusable there's actually one that I really want there's this uh, Irish illustrator I will put her information down below but she has such a funny canvas bag it's like you know when someone says something and you're like oh that's hilarious but you're not laughing it's like that on a canvas bag it's amazing the last thing i wanted to talk to you about is having plants and greenery in your house especially if they are air purifying so this plant i have here just there that is called mother-in-law's tongue and it's a really really great plant for cleansing the air it's actually also a very like hardy plant it doesn't require a ton of watering or care or anything like that it kind of just does its thing so we have a couple in the house obviously one here and one in the hallway when you come into the house and i think there might be another one or two and um, but if you're looking for a great plant that's just going to purify the air and it's really easy to maintain then i would definitely recommend that i know there are lots of other plants that are purifying or air cleansing so I will leave an article down below on some of those because they're just great to have in the house and definitely would recommend you guys purchasing one okay so those are the changes that I've made I'm really really trying my hardest to be a more conscious and environmentally friendly consumer I'm very far away from being zero uh, waste and um, obviously that should be all of our goals to reduce our waste as much as humanly possible and I'm definitely a beginner I'm learning I'm trying things out so I would love to hear down below what you guys are doing to try and be more environmentally conscious and if there are any other things that I can implement really quickly and um, I'm all ears because I really want to learn and I really want to get better at this I hope you guys enjoyed this video today if you did then you can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, so I clearly left my hair up in a hair tie for too long. Here's the sun. So now I'm super blown out. Uh, now I need to leave some space in between my sentences. I'm already drawing breath. <laughs> okay, it's like 17th times a charm. Take 75. Allergy. Let me start that again. <clears throat> oh, I'm still falling. Oh, okay.